The FIFA 22 market looks like to be in a little bit of a state. There has been some panic selling and we're going to be discussing it in this video. We do know the Wants to Watch promo is definitely going to be coming tomorrow at 6 p.m. UK time. And in fact, we do actually have the full team one from EA Sports given to us, which in effect, that has also had a huge impact on the market. So as we can see here, I did make some investments and I'm actually going to be showing you my Fitbin tracker. I'm actually losing coins and I can, it's, it's a good thing because I can explain how, why I'm losing coins and what my thought process was. So I bought these Felipe Andersons. This was a successful thing. This is what I bought at around 52,000 coins. Right now, Felipe Anderson is extremely low and this is pretty much going to be a good example to show how low the market was because I sold him this morning, 10 a.m. UK time. Now he's down 40,000 coins. He's down to 40,000 coins, sorry. So this is around 20,000 coins down from what I sold him at a very good time at around his peak at 60K. So that was a good decision. This one, unfortunately, I couldn't sell at the 60K. I had to relist a little bit later. Jesus Navas as well, same thing. I bought at around 52,000 coins and that was still decent profit there. If we take a look at Jesus Navas now, I'm sure it's going to be quite low as well. So 44k, that is almost, what is that? 13,000 coins lower. So that is quite a significant a bit lower. You can see here, so this is where I sold at 58k. You can clearly see it on this Fitbin graph. And now he's down to 43k. And you can see the market is starting to slowly recover. When we take a look at here, this tracker, if we take a look at Erling Haaland, this is, I think there was very, very low point at 7 p.m. UK time. And now from there, the market has seemed to be going up. I think towards the night evening, I'm currently recording this at 10 p.m. UK time. The market is most likely going to start going up again, but maybe in the morning, there might be a little bit of selling again. So taking a look further in my transfer list, I'm pretty sure these Van Dykes we already discussed in another video. I did have actually three Hakimis. These were a successful buy. I saw Hakimi, his price range got updated. I believe this was around 3.30 p.m. UK time. A lot of things actually happened today. And that's why lots of moving cogs in the system. And that did have quite a big effect on the market. Hakimi is the second most popular player here on Fitbin. And currently he's going for around the same price that I sold him. I sold him around an hour ago when I was at the gym. So I was still on the companion app. My friends were telling me to get off, but this was actually quite a good buy. I was happy with this because the rest of my stuff isn't looking too good. I also had some Ben Yedis. I just sold, I sold them actually to afford these Hakimis. So that is sometimes when I sell investments, when I'm moving around cards, it's not always because it's the best time to invest. It's because I see another investment better elsewhere. So if I'm going to be breaking even or making very, very small, Small profit. I want to make my coins available so that I can get those, so I can get those cards and but the better investments, which luckily worked with Hakimi. However, what didn't work was these Depies. We can actually take a look now. We can we can take a look again at Depies price. What it is, I bought at 17,500, and bear in mind that was already a very very good price on him. Now he is 1,500 coins lower than that, but it does actually add up quite a bit. When you take a look at my Footbin tracker it shows I'm down around 22,000 coins because it definitely does add up. You can see as well with Bailey, I'm losing 4,000 coins. Why now them? I thought was going to be a really good move. But the reason that all of these Wijnaldums went down in price is because EA Sports did actually tweet out the team the team one that is going to be coming out on Friday. And Wijnaldum, unfortunately, isn't actually in there. I believe they probably did it on Instagram. If we go on Instagram, EA Sports FIFA, we can check the EA Sports Foot account, but they definitely announced it. Here we go. They announced it here. I'm not sure why they didn't tweet it, but we can see here. These are the confirmed Team 1 cards, Friday, 1st of October from 6 p.m. UK time. So <laughs> welcome, Sal, to our guaranteed packs. <laughs> We're probably going to be getting Sal, Melon, Upamecano, someone like that. But as we can see here, the reason Hakimi went up is because people know his gold card will be going out of packs. However, Depay, Wijnaldum, no one else is listed out of my investment. So you win some, you lose some. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make the, the amount of coins that I wanted to. I, I thought this Wijnaldum would go up to 30k at least and he would have if he got announced but you cannot predict everything of course so i didn't tell you guys to invest in that wine album in particular i think for next week that could be amazing if you're buying wine albums now in preparation for next week that could be a power play and it could get you ahead of the rest and you only have to wait a week you're not going to be waiting too long now i do also have these lacroix at 38,000 coins this was just a general buy i saw them low on the market 
And right now they're 39k but of course if i was to sell i'd be losing 950 coins in total so that adds up to minus 5k i did have that one lukaku as well and i do believe i i have a sterling as well which i bought at we can see here i bought at 72,000 coins and if we take a look now how much this raheem sterling is going for i expect him to be down as well i'm not surprised if he is going to be i think 70k 72k so he's around the same price but he was actually a lot lower if we go on market sales history he was around like 68k even i believe 60 69 here <laughs> 68k i believe he was down at the at, at the lowest price uh, just just that just around an hour ago you can see here look even 62k apparently maybe maybe a snipe was possible so essentially what i think happened to this market the reason that these cards went down i don't think it's a reason to panic I think the price ranges were updated. That is quite a significant thing. When people saw, for example, Renato Sanchez, Renato Sanchez price was updated and people saw that it's just around the same price. I believe he's still going for around the same price. A lot of people were anticipating him for to go a lot more. And I think that brings general panic as well, because when they see this card, which was extinct for a long time, some people were just maybe thinking he's going to go 40k. 35k whatever they were thinking when they see the price suddenly get updated because it was a very random time 3 30 p.m uk time usually ea do it when not a lot of people are on the market not to cause this sort of panic but clearly when they did it i in my opinion what i think happened is a lot of people saw renato sanchez are like oh, oh my days renato sanchez he's no longer extinct i have to quickly sell him and they're like i might as well sell a few other cards as well i might sell this i might sell that and that had a general impact on the market as well but mainly what we what i, what I think was as well we had a little bit of division rival supply we did get those rewards and also you do need to keep in mind there is ones to watch tomorrow people are aware of it i don't think there is a loading screen if we back out here i don't think there is but there's definitely talk about it and i think that people are aware or that it is coming so people are selling in that so i do think the panic selling brought by um, by ones to watch being tomorrow. There was also genuine division rivals supply. And third, we also saw the price range updates. And I genuinely think that did have an effect on the market because sniping extinct cards, a lot of people had ex those extinct cards. And when they're no longer extinct, it can bring a rush of adrenaline. It might cause some other selling and other things like that. But let me know down in the comments below what you guys are currently looking like, what your clubs are like. I'm going to be waiting on these cards on the ones that I currently have, trying to break even i did sell the hakimis where i'm making profit and i think for the rest of tomorrow pretty much i think the market will be recovering overnight now till around midnight maybe 1 a.m there will be a low point again perhaps at 5 a.m something like that but for the friday i don't think that the market is going to be too bad i think the worst perhaps is behind us and when the ones to watch promo is going to be coming there is actually going to be standard edition tonight as well actually so that there might have been panic selling from that there is going to be a little bit of supply from there as well but i think generally i would say my my prediction would be for friday i don't think it's going to be as bad as today hopefully because with this 450k i think i might try and reinvest it and see if i can hopefully recover some coins for tomorrow thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time